they're all based on a variety of foods, whole foods, and more plants than animals, every right. one of them. So you've seen the U.S. News and World Report best diets list. You see what the top three recommended diets are, the ones that are recommended overall. What would one of the nutrition experts on the panel say to get you started? Stay tuned. This is Neely with Neely on Nutrition. I am with nutrition expert, diabetes educator, and one of the experts on the panel for the US News and World Report, Jill Weisenberger. If you haven't seen the first video with Jill, make sure you watch it. I'll leave a link in the description. If you like this content and want to see more, please make sure that you click the thumbs up button and give me a like. Um, and of course, if you're not a subscriber, if you could subscribe and click that bell icon. All right, let's check out my conversation with Jill. Let's say that somebody reads the list and they see, okay, Mediterranean, Dash, flexitarian, and how would they start? I mean, what would you, what would be something that would be simple enough, I guess, and that, or that you maybe you know, like in the course that you're doing for, for the diabetes. And what I find too is, like I said in my video, it's like if you look at those, the the best diets, the ones for diabetes and heart health and health, they're all the same. I mean, yeah, they're, yeah. they're really, you know, it, 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 you know, don't worry about a diabetic diet, you know, because it's really good healthy eating when it comes down to it for for all the the, the chronic diseases. So, so are there some tips that you have for just to get started? Well, I think what's nice about those three diets programs to begin with or plans, eating patterns, is that they focus on what to eat as opposed to what to avoid. So that's probably the place I would start. Even if it means sitting down with paper and pencil or sitting in front of your computer and actually making up a list, what are the foods that I like that are compatible with this eating pattern? And then what are the foods that I'm interested in trying that are compatible? with this eating pattern, and then looking for ways to include them more. And I mean, obviously Twizzlers and jelly beans and M&Ms are a prominent feature of, of any of them, but you can eat those things on any of them. So if you take away the taboo of having a treat food mm -hmm. and you really focus on what's good to eat, then you find a way to put that treat food in too, and you're perfectly satisfied. And I'm not going to, I don't mean to say it like it's super easy because it's not, it's also not intuitive. Um, but it takes time and practice and it takes the right kind of a, a mindset. But when you start to focus on what to eat instead of what not to eat, the whole world opens up. It's much more fun. It's more freeing. And stop trying to deny yourself of everything because willpower doesn't work. Willpower is so overrated. Willpower. Yeah. What does Jill have to say about that? Jill and I will continue our conversation about willpower and habit change. So click this video to check it out. Thanks for watching Neely on Nutrition and we'll see you in the next video.